friends, I'm Meenal and you're watching Meenal Ka Channel. Uh, so today's topic is demand. Do you know what is demand? In layman's language, every desire is demand. But in economics, demand is that effective desire which can be fulfilled. Uh, question is what is desire? Desire are simply imaginations. They may be fulfilled or be not be fulfilled. Uh, demand presumes the presence of resources and the readiness to part with the resources to satisfy the desire. Uh, to sum up, demand must satisfy the four requests. First is demand a desire for a specific commodity. That means one must have craving for a particular commodity. For example, my cameraman has uh, man has desire to own a high resolution DSLR camera. I have desire to own a BMW car. Second is sufficient resources to purchase the desired commodity. Means the person must have adequate resources or the money to purchase the desired commodity. If I have desire to own a pur own or purchase a BMW car, but I do not have enough money to purchase it, then my desire cannot be included in demands. Uh, the third one is willingness to spend the resources. Willingness to spend means suppose I have desire of having BMW car and I also have enough money to buy it, but I am not ready to spend the money on purchasing on purchasing the car. Due to any reason, I might be miser or I might want to save this money for future. I might have some other priorities and uh, or there could be any other reason. Then this cannot be demand. Then this cannot be demand for BMW. This is only desire and the last one that means the fourth one is availability of commodity at certain price certain place and certain uh, time is cost mandatory but do you know that what are the factors which affect the demand uh, first is price of commodity this is very important factor generally there is negative relationship between demand of commodity and its price obviously demand of a commodity increases with decrease in its price in the same way, demand of a commodity decreases with increase in its price. Other things remaining same. Second is price of related commodities. Related means there are two types of related commodities, substitutes and complementary. Substitute means which can be used in place of one another and complementary means what which are used in pair or used together. There is positive relationship between price of X and demand of Y good if X and Y are substitutes. For example, tea and coffee are substitutes. Increase in price of tea will increase demand of coffee as people will start consuming coffee. Same way, there is negative relationship between price of X and demand of Y good if X and Y are complementary goods. For example, increase in price of ink will decrease will decrease the demand for pen third one is income of consumer obviously when income increases the demand for the commodities will increase is now people have more purchasing power in the same way the demand will fall if the income of consumer will fall next is taste and preferences of consumer uh, we like to consume only those commodities which suits our taste demand for goods is in this way is affected by our habits fashions, likes and dislikes. For example, if I wear sari, I will not demand for jeans. If plazo is in fashion, demand for legging will decrease, etc. Next is size and composition of population. The demand for commodities will increase if there is large population, if the country is overpopulated, the demand for necessities will be more and for luxuries lesser. Increase in population will increase demand and vice versa. Age composition of population also decides the type of goods and demand and goods demand and demanded in market. Quality. An increase in quality of goods increases its demand. For example, a better quality washing machine consuming less water of, or if there is no need of scrubbing collar and cuffs, etc. Encourage people to buy one. Next one is distribution of income. The entire national income is distributed among all various groups, sectors and regions. If the income is equally distributed, the demand for all the commodities will remain in the almost same proportion. If there are more poor people, the demand for necessities will be more. Increase in percentage of rich people will increase the demand for luxuries. Next one is advertising. This is very important factor in today's world and advertising can increase the brand loyalty to the good and increase the demand. Uh, for example, higher spending of, on advertising by Coca-Cola has increased sales. 
the last one expected change in price if it is expected that the price of commodity will rise in future the demand will increases on the other hand if the price of commodity expected to fall in future the demand will decline a commodity like gold may bought due to speculative reasons that's all for this video your suggestions to improve the content is always welcome in comment section if you liked it please share like and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button Stay tuned and keep watching. Bye-bye.